Hey everyone, it's Jamie. Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this really cool magic wand. So if you'd like to see how I do it, then please keep watching. I will be using one of these wooden dowels from Dollar Tree and a wooden bead. First, I'm going to hot glue the wooden bead to the end of the dowel. Next, I'm going to run a bead of hot glue around the bottom of the wooden bead where it meets the dowel. Next, I'm going to take some hot glue and I'm going to run a line of hot glue down the wooden dowel. I'm turning the dowel as I go. I will stop once I get about an inch and a half from the tip of the wooden dowel. Once the glue is set up, I'm going to add another ring of hot glue on top of that first ring that I put down. After the glue has set up, I'm going to add another layer going down about an inch with the hot glue all the way around the dowel. After that layer has set up, I'm going to go ahead and add a second layer on top of that. After that has set up, I'm going to take some more hot glue and I'm going to run a ring of hot glue around the base. After that first ring has set up, I'm going to go in with some more hot glue and add a second layer. After the second layer has set up, I will go in again with a third layer. Next, I'm going to add another ring of hot glue around the top. Next, I'm going to add another layer of hot glue, taking it down about a half inch. Next, I'm going to add another ring around the base of that. Once the hot glue has set up, I'm going to add a second layer on top of that. Next, I'm going to add some hot glue to the middle where that hole is to fill it in. Next, I'm 
Next, I'm going to add another ring around the top. And another ring around the bottom. Next, I will be using a skull ring from this bag of rings that I got from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to remove the ring part using my wire cutters. Then with some hot glue, I'm just going to attach it to the wand. Next, I'm going to take some hot glue and I'm just going to run a bead of hot glue around the skull so that it looks like it has been made into the wand. Next, I'm going to take some black paint and a paintbrush, and I'm just going to give the wand one coat of black paint. After the black paint has dried, I'm going to be using some of this gold paint and I'll be painting a light layer of the gold paint all over the wand. This kind of helps bring out the definition and the details that are in the wand and it also helps it to look a little more worn. And here's how the wand turned out. I think it turned out really cool. There's all kinds of things that you can do to your wand if you wanted to add crystals or feathers or beads or whatever you wanted to do. Um, it's all up to you. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I wanted to thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.